This study is to examine how the Youth Olympic Games use the social media. So the social network analysis method will apply for my studies. So, all right, briefly. Okay, there are some example of social network analysis study in the field of sport management. So, uh, okay, just examples, right? So, so far, for a better understanding of social media use, the previous study has used qualitative analytical tools such as interview and also quantitative analytical tool such as st standard statistics test. But however, the internet-based links contain information that is network-oriented by nature. So, so the social network analysis is more suitable for the examination of the sports communication studies. All right. So, okay. So one of the big difference between the previous study and my study is to use the advanced computer programming language. So to collect the tons of reliable data for the total number of tweets and also the social cue information such as hashtag and also um, user mention and retweet and favorites, I use Python programming language through the Twitter application programming interface. So that's why I took the computer, computer science class last semester <laughs> to create the course. And yeah, using that course, I collect all of the data from the Youth Olympic Games and Olympic Games Twitter web pages. In order to find an identifiable network, so I use the social network analysis, and the user in the network are represented as nodes, and also various relationships between actors were represented as ties. So first of all, with the collect data, I created an adjacency matrix, also using Python language programming. Now with the imported adjacent metrics, I use network analysis programs such as UCINet and Netro to analyze the network data and also visually depict the Twitter-based interactions. So after the launch, I'm gonna talk about that study, but let me talk about the limit limitation of that study first. So I did that study, but for future study, I'm going to address the limitation of that power study. So the limitation is that even though the main goal of the, my power study is to identify the patterns of the interaction between users, but the length of between nodes and location of the nodes were not analysis, analyzed for my pilot study. And also, even though, yeah, I'm gonna give more information after the lunch. Even though I found that network between New Olympic Games and Olympic Games all looks different, but I couldn't find whether the difference of the two natural patterns is significant or not. So for my future study, uh, I'm going to examine how sport organizations use networks to engage with audiences and promote their events. And also to identify if the content of the tools messages has an effect on networks between organization and the public. So probably one of the research questions might be what kind of content is most effective in attracting the public to and engage it in the Youth Olympic Games. For my pilot study, I just collect the user mention data. But for my future study, I'm gonna consider the other social cues 
such as hashtag data and read to favorite and replies. And also, for the pilot study, I just collected data from the recent Youth Olympic Games, Nanjing, and recent Olympic Games, Sochi Olympic Games. But for my future study, I'm going to collect all these eight events because probably there might be two groups of fans, one group for the summer and one group for winter games. So that's why I'm going to collect data from all eight events. As I'm considering the multiple events for my future study, so I'm going to use two mode network and I'm going to measure the centrality and also quadratic assignment procedure, correlation and regression to find the difference between the Youth Olympic Games and Olympic Games. So there is the information about what is the two mode networks and also centrally measures. So using this measure, I can find uh, who has the power of the location. And also, a popular, I can measure the popularity of the nodes. And also, who are the information brokers? Yeah, based on the level of between these centralities. So using the QAP coloration, I, yeah, I'm able to test the association between two networks. And also, if I use, if I'm, I'm going to use regression, QAP regression, I can compare those two networks, and I can find the who is a major factor in determining who a person decides to retweet messages from. Yeah, <laughs> this is my short presentation, but after the lunch, I'm going to give you more detailed information about my studies. Thank you for your time <laughs> and the enjoy lunch. Thank you.